Mike Gray walks into the Virginia State Capitol Monday to have his voice heard. This gentleman right here was sentenced by a peer of juries, jurors. Something he. My name is Michael Gray and I'm an individual. And so thank you. The next individual, member. please. Her son died in her arms and she just wants one minute. You've been here all day. Please. The next speaker, please. And other crime victims say they were robbed of last week. There is a total block of time of six minutes. As lawmakers heard testimony over House Bill 834. Second look is also smart fiscal policy. We spend over a billion dollars each year to incarcerate Virginians. A second look bill that would enable prisoners to petition for a modified or reduced sentence. It's a difficult topic. Uh, it's, to me, it shouldn't be about politics. It's not about Democrat or Republican. Uh, this is a bill that affects victims. Proponents and opponents each given six minutes total to testify on the legislation. For us to be given six minutes, okay, over an issue that's I do that's want to remind issue, you that there individual. are more than a dozen people on each side waiting online. I've been sitting here for four hours today to come here and have a conversation and to walk up here with zero time on here and not be able to have one minute to talk. That's my son. He was shot and killed. That's the last picture I have of him. And that's what kept Mike Gray up at this podium, regardless of the rules. Say hi, Josh. Gray's 23-year-old firstborn son, Josh, 1627 Mechanicsville Turnpike, was gunned down September 17, 2018, in Richmond while trying to sell his cell phone. Since then, it's been the family's mission to spread awareness about safe selling through these billboards now up in seven states. I didn't choose to be on this path. I didn't choose to be a victim. I didn't choose to lose my first son to a senseless murder, but it happened. And now I feel like I have to be a voice that continues to, to bring awareness uh, because there's other victims that, that don't. I definitely think um, we as victims should be given more time. Attorney General Jason Mieres agrees. He sent this letter to those who came out in opposition to the bill apologizing on behalf of the Commonwealth and extended an invitation to meet with them, saying, quote, I'm committed to ensuring that victims...